This is part number two of the Zoho CRM features video. In the previous video, we talked about the different user interface features that Zoho CRM has to offer you. And in this video, we are going to talk about the settings part. If you will click on the settings on the top right, you will see here that you have lots and lots of functionality that is available for you without knowing any coding. And if you don't know, I also offer a CRM course. In the CRM course, I am going over all those features and teaching step by step of how to use them. And if you do not know my website, it's amazingbusinessresults.com. On the top, you will see the do it yourself section. And there you will have lots of different items that you can use with the do it yourself. And this is the course, the no BS step-by-step -step approach to mastering your Zoho CRM. You click here and you can purchase the course from here. If I'm going back to our settings, on the left side, you will have the general settings. The general settings will have everything that you need in terms of your basic setup. The personal details will have important information for you as a user and probably you ask yourself why do i care it's internal anyway no one can see it it's not true for example here you can see that you have the signature if your signature is empty like in my case and you are creating an email template that will be sent to your clients the email templates can include a user signature section because you want one email template to be used for multiple employees. And therefore, if the signature is empty, no one will know it came from me, unless they reply to the email and see the, the email uh, address. But here, if you will click and you will paste here your signature, something like that. Now, whenever I will send an email to my clients, they will know that it's coming from me because the signature is here. You can also uh, have different type of relevant information in the email templates that is related to the fields here. For example, I can write, please uh, uh, reply to this email or call me at, and then the phone number that will appear here can be also as part of the email template. So you have lots of abilities to pull information from the, the personal details of the person that is sending the email without knowing coding or anything like that. Next, you will have the company details and the company details will have everything related to your company. One very important thing about the, the company details, one is the time zone. Based on the time zone, you will be able to set the events and the meetings in the right way. Also, the automations in the system will work based on the time zone that you have here. So this is very important. Second thing that is very important will be the currency. If your currency is not set up correctly, the amounts in the system will be incorrect. So this is very important. Then you will have here the business hours and the business hours are critical because when you're running automations, you can have something that is not calculating the workflows based on days. It will calculate based on business days or business hours. And that means that if right now, which is 4 p.m. my time, there will be an automation that's supposed to be sent in three hours. The system knows that 5 p.m. I'm closing my shop. And that means that the automation will not take place in three hours. It will take place tomorrow at 10 a.m., which is calculating from now three business hours. And if your business hours are not uh, properly uh, uh, configured, it will not happen. Next, we have the motivator. The motivator is a cool feature that no one is using. The motivator is allow you to create uh, KPIs basically for your team just to engage them to sell more and be more interactive with the system close more leads maybe enter information to the system properly so you have lots of cool stuff that you can do with uh, the motivator 
I never saw anyone really using it. Lots of people try to do it, but they, they quit at some point. But I think it's, uh, it's very, very cool. Next, you will have on the left side. And by the way, when I'm saying left side, it's also when you click on the settings, you will see it here. So it's exactly the same view. When you're going to the user's control, here you can see all the users in the system. If you have ZO1, and I have ZO1, on the left side, you will be able to see under the admin panel, you can see all the users. And if you have what I have, ZO1, this is where you are loading more users into your CRM. Okay, you are not doing it uh, directly from your CRM. If I will click here on new user, you will see that I'm being redirected to my ZO1 interface. Okay, so it's not really uh, in ZO CRM. When you're clicking on a new user, you can see the different settings that the user have. And the, the main imp most important will be probably the role and the profile, which I will talk about and about them very, very soon. Uh, you can see also all the users in the system and when you change the view, you can see the active user, deleted users, pending users, you can see everyone here in this place. The security control is extremely robust. Uh, it's separated based on profiles and roles. I don't want to spend too much time about it. I have lots of videos on my channel that explaining uh, everything about the security control. The permission system, if you click on one of them, you can see that it's showing you what you can do with the system, basically which modules you can access. You can say, for example, that uh, people that have the standard profile and they will be able only to view the leads, but they will not be able to edit them or maybe you want to turn off completely the access to the leads and the contacts. But from the other side in the accounts, they can uh, 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 maybe just view and create, but they will not be able to edit. Uh, I'm, for example, every time that I'm setting up a system, I will always remove, will remove the delete option. So I don't allow anyone in the system to delete anything. Because this is, this is usually how employees are covering their tracks when they're doing something wrong. Uh, there is also a very important uh, option here, and that's the export. It's known, for example, that uh, uh, employees that are not that happy with your company, they will usually try to export information out of your system and it, they will try to sell it to your competition. It's very, very common. So I'm also removing the export ability for every employee. So you have lots of features that you can do here as part of the system. Very, very robust security system. Very, very strong. Next, uh, I will just jump directly into the channels. In the channels, channels, you have lots of different features that you can basically integrate with your ZO system. You will have the email configuration. This is where every employee is connecting his own email so he can send and receive emails from the system. And those emails are also will be listed as part of the system in the email section. Uh, next, you have here the telephony system. You can integrate a quality phone system. And there are a few that I recommend on my recommend page on my website. And uh, that will be this link, this one. So we collected lots of uh, good uh, systems that we recommend and we have them here including 30 days free trial, connecting to ZO, uh, uh, ZO bookkeeping services and conversion system. We have lots of cool stuff here in the system. So uh, it will be on the recommended page and it, there is also a link in the description below if you will need to. If you will connect a good phone system, whenever someone calls, there will be a pop-up the pop-up will show you the person uh, details. You will know exactly who is calling before you even answered. And if you click on this uh, dialer, you can change the disposition. For example, you can, in a click of a button, you can see, you can tell the system what happened with this person. You can uh, schedule the next meeting. Everything can be done from one place. So it's a very, very cool thing. The social section can integrate with, uh, with uh, Facebook and Twitter. 
So all the messages, for example, that's coming in can do something. For example, when a Twitter message is coming in, I can create it automatically as a lead on my system. And then the, the sales agent can follow up with it. So you have cool features that you can do here. There is also another software named Zoho Social that Zoho provided can do many more socials, but for now, let's stay with what Zoho CRM can give us. The chat system, it's Zoho Sales IQ. It's basically this guy that you see over here. And when someone is filling the information, you can start the chat with him and you can start talk to this person. And when this conversation is over, it will be logged as a new lead in your system. Also, when someone click here, fill the information and no one responds to him, will also be pushed as a new lead to your system. Very, very cool. Next, you will have the, the different uh, signals. The different signals is basically what's popping up here. So you can select, for example, when there is an incoming email. Perfect. I don't have an integrated email. But if an in email is incoming or bounced or anything like that, uh, I can have here the bell ring. And when the bell rings, you will see it's in red. You can also do it for the different features that are connected. For example, when there is a new like or comment or Twitter or backstage or a webinar, when someone is registered, you can do lots of cool stuff that is integrated directly into your CRM and you can see all those notifications in one shot. Uh, it's also, there is a way here to go to the feeds. I don't know if I have here the feeds. Yes, I do. And in the feeds, you can really see all the different actions like a summary that's happening in your system. So it's also a way for you to browse and, and just, you know, go and see what's going on in your system. It's also very, very cool. The portals, I don't really recommend so much the portals. I don't like them. Uh, the portal is supposed to be a place that your customers can take action. So it's a face to the public. But I don't think that it's, it's a nice system. Uh, visually, it's not there. And also functionality wise, it's not there. So therefore, I will not recommend you to go to the portals and I will not even click on get started now because I don't think it's a good system. The customization section is insane. If you go, for example, to the modules and fields, whatever you will see on the top, all the modules that you have on the system, you will also see them here. And you can click on them and you can just change the view. You can change the different fields. You can do lots of activities here. You can change mandatory fields. You can sell default, default fields. You can create formulas and calculations. You can do lots of good stuff from this screen. You can also create some layout rules. For example, when the status of the person uh, is lost lead, it will automatically ask me the reason why this lead is lost. So you have lots of ways to create this functionality with drag and drop. You don't need to be a developer for it. You have, again, lots of cool stuff here. I'm not going to dig into all, the, to all those options because uh, those are less common, but just know that you have lots of cool stuff uh, in this section. The Wizards is very, very cool. It's basically allowing you to create new records with any screen that you like. So let's assume that you have screen number one asking you for first name, last name, and email. You click next, and then the next screen will ask you, okay, what services, products. So every time that you move from one screen to another, you are able to ask more information. It's just a nicer way to create a record than just giving you all the blah, all the stuff, right? I'm just asking you a few questions and it's more user-friendly and, and cooler. I think it's a nice system. The pipelines will allow you to create different pipelines. As I told you in the previous video, you can do, let's say, buy, sell, or you can create more pipelines. Each one of them will have different stages. And each stage of the deal will look something like that. And then whenever you create the deal, you are starting with qualification, for example, in my case. And then as you go, you just jump more and more until you have close one or close lost if you lost the deal. And of course, every time that you have those buttons, a click on a button can actually create something in the background, can create a new estimate, can send reports, 
can do lots of lots of cool stuff okay so this is a very uh, a very nice section the next one will be templates probably the most used section in any crm those will be email templates that are going to be sent or automatically to your clients or maybe they will be sent manually by you clicking on send mail this is an example of an email that will be sent to a customer of mine when i try to call him for the first time and there was no answer so it will say a and then you will have your the lead first name okay i try to call you blah 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 and then here call me at and this is the phone number that will be pulled from the personal settings of the salesperson and then you will have also the salesperson user signature and therefore i can take this one single template and i can give any employee to use the same template without creating a, a template for each one of my uh, salespeople. If I will continue and go to copy customization, let's say that you created a beautiful system and now you have another line of business that wants to create exactly the same CRM. You will go to the copy customization, you will enter his email address, and then you will copy what you created to a different CRM. So you can just click copy and the other side will get exactly what you have without the data, just the structure. Customizing your own page, we talked about it before in the previous video, is just creating your own home page and you can create a home page for each role. Each role in, your syst in the system can have its own uh, home page and this is giving you a way to create one for your CEOs, uh, one for the CFO, one for the salespeople, each one of them will see different things on the system. The translation system is actually cool because you are able to change anything in the system. For example, if I will go to the leads system, you will see that I have here one of the fields, it's account name. Now, account name by default is really company, but I didn't want to have company because company is not matching my needs of the system. So I went to the translation and in the translation, I just translated company to account name and therefore I was able to do it. If you try to change this field because it's a system variable field, you will not be able to do it. So this is a trick that we are using to, to manipulate uh, uh, things that we cannot manipulate. In the automation section, we have tons of functionality. You can create workflows. Basically a workflow is when something happens, do something else. As an example, uh, let's go to our leads and let me just view them. So this workflow for, workflow, for example, whenever there is a follow-up comment, okay, whenever I'm adding a follow-up comment to my leads, I'm also copying it as a note. So the workflow is whenever the field follow-up comment is changing, I am taking the information and pushing it to a different place. So the workflows are allowing you based on an action in the system. It might be date based, may it be creation of a record, editing a record based on many different things. You are able to take action and the workflow is a very, very useful. You use it a lot. The schedulers, not too many people use it because it's code based, but just know that the, the scheduler is able to perform scripts on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis, okay? But it's not something that you can do by yourself. You will need a developer for it. The action section, it's a section that will summarize for you all the email notifications that you have in the systems, tasks, field updates, webhooks, functions. You can see in one place everything. For example, if I look at the email notifications, I can see all the email notifications that's being sent using my blueprints, my workflows, and it's just a nice place that you can, uh, you can review what was done in your system. And if you need to track back based on an email template, you can do it from here. For example, if I will click on attempt to call, you can see here that the blueprint, the amazing leads blueprint, is being used for this specific template. Assignment rules will allow you to 
assign leads or records in general based on any kind of functionality. For example, when a lead is coming and it's coming from Africa, I can assign it to someone from Africa. When a lead is coming and the lead is about service ABC, I can assign the service ABC to someone that is doing this type of service. So based on different rules, I can assign leads to different people. The case escalation, I will not talk about it. If you need to use cases, which is like a ticket system, just use Zodesk, much better system. Scoring rules, it's cool. You are able to assign score numbers based on activity. In my case, you do not see any kind of fields or any insights. So let's click here. And I will say, whenever an email is being opened, I want 10 points to be added to, the, to my client. If the person clicks, I will also give him 10 points. And when the email bounces, subtract 10 points. And now, if I will go to my system, I will be able to see all the leads, and for each lead I will have some kind of a number, and the number we, we represent is engagement with my company. And you can do it also based on uh, lead fields, you can do it also based on uh, forms that you are sending the person if he is responding to them or taking action. So there are lots of ways to use the point system. I'm a big fan of this system. Fantastic. The marketing attribution is also cool. It's connecting to your campaign section that I talked to you before. And the campaign section will show you basically your return of investment for all the campaigns that you're running. If you ask me, I would never run any marketing campaign without knowing exactly how much money I'm spending on a campaign and how much money I earned from the campaign. The rest of it, you got 50 leads, you got this and that, it's all crap. So I, I, this, is, this is priceless, it's a great section. Next, you will have your segmentation. Segmentations will allow you to segment your clients in a certain way. You will be able to have, let's say, a VIP group gold group and normal group. And you can say, for example, VIP will be people that had more than three deals in the last years and the total amount is more than $50,000. Those will be my VIP. And the gold will be, let's say, two deals in the last five years with $20,000 combined. So you're able to create a segmentation based on the actually uh, interaction, monetary interaction with your business. Of course, you can do also other things. In the process management, you have uh, also lots of action. You can have uh, the blueprints. The blueprint is priceless. If you're running a business without a blueprint, you have no business, basically. So this is as an example, a blueprint for cold calls. When a new cold call is being created in the system, there will be a set of buttons. When I'm clicking on different buttons, something happens. For example, when I'm trying to call the lead for the first time, I click here and then I click here for any type of attempt. This is showing me as a manager how many attempts my employees try to have with the lead. From the other side, I also have a small script in the, in the back end that is showing me how many real phone calls were made to this person. So I can know, for example, behind the scene, that my employee is claiming that he called 20 times to this lead while I know that the reality is he called only three. So you have also lots of ways to, to work with blueprints and every time that you click on, on one button, it's going to different ways. Fantastic, without a blueprint, as I said before, I don't think that you have a business. Approval process is very cool for bigger companies that have some kind of a process that you need, you know, one person creates a record, another one reviews. So it's more for bigger companies that are more sensitive about the data, but this is also possible. You can also have a review process and the review process will be for specific records. So let's say that I have a record, the record will have first name, last name and email. I can say, for example, that whenever my secretary finishing updating the details, I will be able to review each one of those uh, fields. And based on that, I can approve or send to the uh, secretary to fix something based on what I found. 
The command center is a way for you to review a full process. It allows you to see an entire journey, let's say a lead, opportunity, and the quote, and you can see all the journey from A to Z, and you can see how many interactions you had there, how many people started the process and stopped in the middle. It gives you a wide lens understanding of where you are with a specific journey. In the data administration, you have lots of stuff like importing, exporting data, backup the data, see how much storage you're using. Recycle Bing will show you all your deleted files and who deleted them. Audio lo audit log will show you what automations are running in the background. Basically, when something happens, you have a problem in your system. Before you call Zoho, just go to the Recycle Bin and audit log and you will see which employee did what. The sandbox will allow you to create some kind of an environment that is not the live environment. Basically, it will copy all the structure from your live environment into a sandbox so people can develop and play there and not ruin your existing live environment. The developer space is not for you. This is for developers. But here you can run functions, create integrations, connections, web forms. You have lots of stuff that developers will need to use. In general, the cost for working with developers on Zoho will be less expensive than Salesforce, VTiger, all those, because most of the stuff is drag and drop and relatively easy to develop. So you're not supposed to have a big uh, money for expenses. Zia will be a way for you to talk or write to the system and the system will tell you the answer. For example, how many deals are this month? How many deals are this year? What is the forecast for next month? The system will know how to grab your, your verbal or a text communication and translate them into queries that it will speed up for you. And I have also videos about that on my channel. So I think that I, I cleared everything. I went over all the sections in the CRM. If I miss something or you have any kind of questions, you're more than welcome to join our webinars. Every Wednesday, 10 a.m., we have webinars. You can join those webinars. We have them. Uh, you can register from here. So do it yourself, which is the same place that I said before. And on the bottom, you have yeah the weekly live webinar. It's free of charge. Anyone can join. Ask any questions that you may have. And I will give you the answer live without waiting or something like that. Thank you very much for being with me. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.